Why do you like dancing? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun and I've always loved to dance. I was born probably dancing, so that's probably why. What's your favorite Broadway show? <laughs> I don't know, but I'd have to say between West Side Story and Wicked. There you go. Yeah. Um, what college did you go to? I didn't attend college, but I did. Actually, I did. I attended uh, junior college when I was 14 because my mom was on faculty, so I was allowed to take classes. But I didn't graduate from college, if that's what you mean. How old are you? I'm 56 years young. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I color. How long have you been dancing? I, that's really hard to answer, but I would probably say 53 years because I remember doing something at three. My mom gave me some tap classes when I was three years old, but really started kind of seriously when I was 14. Okay. What's your favorite movie? <laughs> probably the most recent one is the Lego movie. <laughs> what is your favorite dance style? Every style, because I really love, there's nothing I really like, tap, jazz, ballet, contemporary, hip-hop, uh, the haka, uh, right, anything, the Philippines dance. You're going to laugh at me. No. Do you know who Adina Menzel is? I do. She yeah. was the lead in Wicked. Yeah, yeah right. Was. Yeah, thank you. And she also sang that movie, uh, Freezing Something. <laughs> um, what's your favorite part about teaching dance to other people? Inspiration. Not that they get it, but if I inspire. I understand that people won't get it right away, but if I inspired you, and if I made you remember something funny about me, and that inspiration causes you to want to become better. Thank you. Um, how hard was it to get your name established, and if it was hard for you, how did you get through it? I didn't think about establishing my name. I just thought about doing my job. I only wanted to just do shows and do TV and do things. I didn't think about... That wasn't in the forefront of my mind, but yes, networking is important, and you're right to ask that. The only thing I did was made sure I went on as many auditions as I possibly could go on when I was living in Hollywood and not uh, leaving any stone unturned. I went on cruise ships, I went on little shows, I went on big shows, uh, everything that I could possibly read and find out about. You're welcome. Thank you, and thank you. Oh, uh, basically, yeah, I've known Miss Linda for many, many years, and I've known her daughters, Keila, Kyra, and Kara. Uh, they cause such inspiration that when I watch them work and see their product, I know that you can be from a large town, you can be from a small town. It really doesn't matter that wherever you are in the country or the world, if you're dedicated to your art, you do produce quite an amazing uh, dancer and professional. And I know that from my experience teaching here at ESP, it's some of the best in the country. I don't have to be in a huge school in Minneapolis or Dallas or something like that. That per capita, I think that this school, honestly, this school honestly puts out a stronger, more versatile dancer. And in the last 15 years, everything that has come out of the school has been working professional. Not everything, but every dancer who's chosen to work has gone on to create a successful career. Bottom line, I, the proof is in the Megans and the Patricks and the Struthers of, of the generation. And I know from teaching them 15, 20 years back that I've seen them go into Hollywood and make something. So the ratio of success out of this school is really huge, really large. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.